Hi, I'm Callum. This is Evaluation 6, Section 1, Research and Planning. Me and my group use plenty of software when research and planning our thriller to make our blog as media-rich as possible. I want to start by talking about Google, as it's probably the most useful tool we use. Not only did it easily allow us to access the internet, but extensions such as Google Maps allowed us to map out uh, our locations for our filming. Another Google extension that we used was Google Calendar, as it allowed us to make a diary of filming, so each of us knew when and where to meet on certain filming days. Another great tool we used was YouTube. It allowed us to watch other professional thrillers and uh, other sixth form amateur thrillers, A-grade ones, so that we could tell why they got an A-grade and how to implement, implement that into our own thriller. It also allowed us to upload our own work to YouTube, copy the HTML code and upload that to the blog to make it more media rich. The next one is more what I did rather than the rest of my group. I use software called Camtasia Studio 8. It's what I'm using right now to make videos and uh, presentations. Camtasia Studio 8 allows me to present information in a more interesting way than just a written presentation. And speaking of written presentations, we predominantly used Prezi, Word and PowerPoint to make written presentations. And also it's not on there, but we use SlideShare to upload them. When it actually came to filming our thriller, we decided to use the iPhone 6 that someone in our group owned since it's a high definition camera with a good memory and it's handheld, which means it was easy to film with since none of us, none of us had experience with actually filming something before. We could take photos with it, meaning we could use those photos for the posters. So this multifunctionality, coupled with the convenience of it, made it the perfect choice. Post-production, in my opinion, was the easiest part of making the thriller since I only used one software to edit all the footage. This was Camtasia Studio 8. It easily, easily allowed me to edit the, all of the footage under one software. An example of this wouldn't just be uh, the cross-cutting between the footage, but it would be the night vision camera I did, since Camtasia Studio 8 allowed me to change the color of the footage and also put extra layers on top of the original video to make it look like there was a security camera. It also allowed me to easily edit the music. One example of this wouldn't just be the extra layer of music I put over the original video, but also the uh, sound effects on top of the music to add to the suspense. 